Sepia 38, 3378 AC. Tomorrow we set sail. All captains have their crews, cargo, and provisions. The wandering sailor will be leading the fleet all the way to Straith. Percy handpicked the crews and found some perfectly capable and unassuming characters for the journey. I hate it when hired hands poke their noses into business not their own. Tonight, I'll crack open a bottle of Valendrian wine and toast to the voyage and adventure ahead. Sepia 50, 3378 AC. O.C. is shining. The satyr's canvas is stretched tight and my wine stocks are full. The crew is always in such high spirits the first leg of a voyage. I'm sure they'll be excited when we make straight three days old. Percy and I have been going over the charts and records. Everyone that has made an attempt and failed did so by day. Not that I believe in such tall tales, but I think we'll try at night, just to be safe. Sepia 51, 3378. The expedition keeps falling behind. Appleton knows that under no circumstances he'd open the cargo crates. He's spent a lot of years at sea and should know that you can't expose flour and grain to salty ocean air. Not sure that it matters with his record and financial situation. I expect he'll follow instructions to the letter. Sepia 54 3378. Captain Harris thinks she's been kinding with her plot to rename the Wooden Maiden. <laughs> By getting to stray three days early, her whole scheme is going to fall apart. I can't blame her for wanting to avenge her murdered father. Nobody has seen the pirate Strom in a decade. Even if she were to track him down and kill him, she would get no justice. I'm sure someday she'll discover the truth. <laughs> Sepia 68, 3378. Captain Edwards is, by all means, the best navigator I've ever seen. Percy and I are certain he's figured out that our route is through the Obsidian Isles. Edwards is an old sea dog and isn't going to be too keen on my plan. Sailors with their damn superstitions and curses. I had Percy sneak a couple raccoons onto his ship. Hopefully that distracts him from his charts for a while. Twenty-two more days until strafe. I hope the Oglov Sea grants us steady wins. Sepia 72, 3378. I understand the idea of having an alias when dealing with nefarious plots and schemes, but why do the players always choose alter egos that imply treachery? Bones? Why does he go by bones? Because he has them, or because he's skinny? Perhaps his dog comes them. Does he have a dice rolling addiction? <laughs> a name like Bones suggests more questions than it does paint a picture. Regardless, Bones better square up upon delivery. Val Gibbon Company and I have risked an awful lot on this venture. If this Bones character doesn't deliver payment, the investors of this convoy will seek vengeance for time and investments lost. This kind of power and influence always comes to command. Sepia 80, 3378. Two more days to strafe. Tomorrow night we'll pass through the Obsidian Isles and sail right by Black Glass Island. What an adventure this will be. <laughs> I'll have to find a storyteller to embellish this voyage in detail about how the great Admiral Reslin was the first to successfully traverse this cursed isle. I've sailed all over Orin, and the idea of cursed waters is laughable. <laughs> in three days, all the arms and armor will be unloaded, and I'll be rich. Sepia 81, 3378. Percy and I took the dinghy to the expedition to see Captain Edwards. There's no point in trying to pretend he doesn't know. I'm confident he'll follow orders. Tonight we pass to the Isles, and tomorrow night we dock in strength. If Captain Appleton and Captain Harris get to the docks to unload, whatever plans or schemes they have will not matter. Oblet, conceal us with your darkness.